Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Today I am pressure canning my harvest of beans, but while I'm waiting for the pressure canner to depressurize so I can switch over to the next batch, I figured I'd take you for a walk in the garden and show you the giants that live among us. The first giant that we have living among us is the Mongolian giant sunflower. This sunflower can get up to 14 even uh, taller, but about 14 feet uh, tall. Um, and it needs support, especially if you're in a windy area, uh, just because uh, it's so tall. The wind will blow it over. Um, but yes, it's about 14 feet tall this year. Um, uh, the ones that I have didn't get quite as tall. They're about 12 feet. I still have some that are growing, so we'll see if they get up to 14 feet this year. And the heads on them get about the size of a dinner plate, sometimes bigger depending on the conditions that uh, they're growing in. So that is the first giant that's living among us. This is the second giant that's living among us. It's not quite anything spectacular yet, but hopefully by the end of the season, we will have some giant squash. This is the Hubbard squash, and it gets really, really big. I think about 10, 10 pounds or so is sometimes uh, the, the weight of some of these bad boys. So hopefully we can get some nice squash. It is... Uh, the beginning of August, so um, it's a race against time before the uh, frost date gets here. So this is our second giant that lives among us. So this is another giant that lives among us in our garden. And I call it giant because it's very tall. Uh, this is a tansy and uh, this is about six foot tall right now. It's got quite a few uh, flowers that are starting to open on it. But uh, a lot of people didn't know that tansy can get quite tall, and yes, indeed, it can. So this is considered a giant among us in our garden. Here is another giant in the garden. Right now, it does not look too spectacular. Um, I have some bean beetles, or whatever they're called, ble bean fleas, whatever. Um, that are starting to uh, try to attack it. But these are giant lima beans plants. And the giant lima beans, they can get about the size of between a quarter and a 50 cent piece um, and for each bean. So they can get quite large. So I'm hoping that uh, as these plants grow up and mature, if they don't get killed off by these bugs first, they'll be another giant that we have living among us. This is another giant that we have living among us. This is the mammoth sunflower. And this year, I have to say, my mammoth sunflower has grown taller than my Mongolian giant. Um, this guy is probably at least 14 to 15 feet tall. So um, that's pretty good for a Mongolian giant. They usually don't get as tall as this buddy. But uh, yeah, beautiful flowers. Um, I've already had some that started going to seed. You can see a seed head right there um, that has started to dry out. And uh, wonderful flower. I grow all sorts of sunflowers here, but yes, this is definitely a giant among us. Another giant among us is the elephant dill. Uh, this is a beautiful dill. Gets quite, quite tall. Some of these are about five foot tall. Um, so it's definitely a, a giant of the dills, and we really love it here. Um, they just add a nice color and a nice fragrance. And of course, we get lots of dill to harvest for when we get ready to pickle things uh, in the fall. So this is definitely another giant among us. One of the other giants I have in here is just because I've let it grow so large. This is a plantain plant. I actually have two of them here. I have this one, and then I have another one over there. It's kind of looking wonky because I was harvesting beans today. 
Uh, but this guy got pretty big, um, and the bugs are really liking it. But a little bit later, I'll probably harvest some of the leaves to dehydrate for later use. Uh, plantain is an excellent uh, plant. It can be used just to eat uh, as far as a green powder or a uh, spinach or things like that but it also has great medicinal properties so you can you can look that up on on google or bing or however you like to research on how good plantain is and you might want to add it to your repertoire so this is another giant we have living among us okay so for the final giant that we have living among us this is the Hungarian heart tomato. It is a paste type tomato. Sorry about my finger there. It's a paste type tomato and it is known for its size. I will show you just how big this bad boy is. It is about the size of a heart. They weren't joking. So again, that's the Hungarian heart paste tomato. Another giant that's living among us. I hope you've enjoyed this brief walk through the garden to see the different giants that are living among us here in the garden. I'll take you for another walk at another time to show you some other wonderful things we have growing out here. Until next time, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Bye-bye.